Okay, final question, question 23. <clears throat> arithmetic series. Okay, so um, a sequence of numbers, arithmetic or a constant difference. Now, the sum of the first 48, there's a formula when you sum arithmetic series. But here it is in the formula sheet, arithmetic series. The sum to however many terms, n terms, is given by this formula here. So n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. n is the number of terms, a is the first number, d is the difference. Okay, I'm not given the first number or the difference, so I'm going to keep A's and D's in my formula. But for the first one, the N number is 48. So using the formula, 48 over 2 is 2A plus 47D. Now that is four times the first 36 terms. So you can use that formula again to say for 36 terms, the formula becomes 36 over 2, 2a plus 35d. And we need four lots of it equaling the other formula. Cancel down the 48 over 2 is 24. Cancel this down here at the beginning, it's 72. Now 24 goes into 72 three times, so you can divide by 24. Bringing the formula down, multiplying out the brackets. Simplifying the formula or the equation gives us finally that we can say that a is minus 29 over 2d. Okay, we can't find out d and a because we need more information. However, the next part of the question says find the sum of the first 30 terms. So we're going to go back to the formula from the formula sheet. It's called S30 when you do it for 30 terms. And then 30 over 2, 2a plus 29d is coming from the formula on the formula booklet. And I'm going to substitute in for a. I've got here, I know what a is. It's minus 29 over 2d. So I'm going to put that in here for a. Simplify at the front, it comes to 15. Now, this is where the little trick is. If you do two lots of this, the twos will cancel and you'll end up with minus 29d plus 29d. So in the bracket is zero. And when you multiply it out by 15, the answer will come out as zero.